from this. I think uh, the state is doing it uh, in its own way. Of course, uh, the government of Orissa is spending, uh, trying its best to promote Orissa as a destination. They've been doing it, okay? But I think uh, from the industry point of view, uh, from the tour operator's point of view, um, many things can be done um, without ignoring the interest of the stakeholder. That is very much in, uh, required. Because uh, nowadays, sometimes, you know, uh, some, uh, for example, uh, the policymaker, the government need to understand uh, to sustain the livelihood of the uh, people, you know, involved with the tourism industry. And um, from that point of view, I think we have big expectation from the government. And uh, in the last three years, we have gone through very difficult times, but, uh, and but at least from the marketing point of view, the government is uh, doing the destination promotion, but should make some changes or to rethink or to relook how the tour operator guides and travel agent, they can also sustain their business. I don't want to go uh, get into the details because I think this would be too lengthy. For example, just for a small example, I can tell you, the department is giving training to a lot of guides. I think you know, many guides are being trained by government of uh, Odisha and that's a very good thing. Language uh, uh, programs are also, um, you know, are taken care of. I think many, uh, that's a good thing. But my only point is, we also have to see whether the people, those who have been trained already, whether they are able to sustain their livelihood by keeping themselves in the tourism trade. That's important. It won't happen like this. From my experience, I can say most of the people nowadays are switching on to the other profession because they no more find it viable to yeah. sustain their business or their profession. The government should think of this very Thank seriously. You. Thank you. Thank you.